Hello, Nyan. Oh, how are you? Great. Welcome to the class. So I hope you're fine. Okay, so welcome to the class. So it makes me feel happy to have you here. Okay. Um, you know what? I like uh, on this week, I just uh, took uh, the end of the exam. Was and really how was it going? Okay, tell me how was, uh, how how, how uh, was your it's test? Okay. I think it's okay. And on next uh Wednesday, I will have the math test. Math test. Yeah, the end of the semester two exam. And then this end. Oh my God! Cannot cannot believe it. so fast. And how was your test? Did you perform very well? Quite good. Not not really bad. Not very really good. I think. Uh, at so least bad. you got a B. Um, B plus or B, yeah. B plus. About that. Yeah, B plus or B. Oh, uh, better one is A. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. All right. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So it makes me feel so happy that. At least you got um good score. So I would I would have liked you have I would have liked you got maybe uh ninety nine point nine, but not in life everything is not gonna be perfect as we watch. But I'm so happy to know that. What can I tell you? All right. Uh, what I can tell you is that. What I can tell you is that I would have liked you, you have got, I would have liked you have gotten, you know, a better score. I really would have liked you have gotten a better score that it could have been better for you because I know your potential. I know the skills you have. I know you have analytical skills, but if you still got a B plus, that was good. It was not too bad. But I will encourage you to be the best of the best of the best of the best, right? Because I know what you are made of, right? So now let's get started with our class. And so today's class, we're going to be talking about body and mind, all right? So what we're talking about, the human body, all right? The structure of a human body. So I know this is something that has to do with anatomy, but I consider it is so important, right? So because there are many things that we need to learn over here. And maybe in the future you're learning this, but you don't know how you can apply those skills in your personal and professional life, all right? So let's see. So here we have some vocabularies that I want you to read then and to see how you repeat them. Okay, let's get it started. Number one, parts of the body. What is the first part of the body, Nyan? Wait, can you share your screen? I cannot see. Oh, you're not seeing? Oh my yeah. gosh. I'm afraid that I need to go backwards. If you're not seeing, I'm afraid that we need to reshare. Oh, Nyan, can you hear me? Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see you. Okay, so this is our today's unit. So now we are starting a new unit, unit number four, body and mind, all right? So in today's class, we're going to be talking about 
the human body, something that belongs to the anatomy of the human body, something that I'm sure uh, you have been taking in your science class. Okay. Have you? Haven't you? Yeah, so here we have the parts of a body. Okay, can you tell me what are these parts of a body? Um, it's the neck of the way. How can I move it? So let me show you. Here we have the body. All right. We have a body that is divided into three segments. Okay. So as the body is decided, is divided, I'm sorry. Look at there, as the body is divided into three pieces, okay? So this is what we are going to do. So look at this. Here we have the different parts of a body right here in this one, okay? And you're gonna tell me the parts of a body that are in part E. So then you're gonna tell me the parts of, of the body that may be found in part B. So and also you're gonna tell me the parts of a body that may be found in part number C. So it's a picture of a person, but it has different parts of the body. Let's just start with, with part eight. Let me see what you have. What do you have in part eight? Let's see. Um, I slash, I, I brow, I lit. Let me make sure, um, um before you continue, yeah. Yan, Yan, before you continue, so we, I know we have to break down the body that we have there of this guy, the picture. We're going to organize in its corresponding category. But before we continue, I would like to make sure how much you handle the pronunciation of these words. Can you please be so kind and read these words for me? This way I make sure that you know how to pronounce all of these words correctly. Uh, parts of body, ankle, armpit, calf, chest, chin, eyebrow, eyelash, eyelid, finger, okay. nail, heel, hip, lip, neck, nostril, palm, scalp, chin, show, stomach, thigh, throat, thumb, uh, toenail, wasp, wrist. Toenail? Toenail. 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 All right. What else? His waist and wrist. All right. So those are part of the body. Waist is next to your hip. In wrist, all right, is for your 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 hands. Right. I mean. Wrist, that is especially waist, is for your abdomen, your belly, all right? And uh, the wrist is this one right right here, where you can, where it joins with the hands and the finger, okay? It's what holds the hands, the wrists right here. Okay, I want you to read these words for me. Let me see. Can you read in? So what I want you to do is to read them just so that I can be able to listen your pronunciation. And then we continue with the, with the rest of the exercise. Okay. You can start now, Nyan.
Can you read it, Nyan? Can you be so kind so let me reach on the meeting? Like, I can I th not I, hear I you. I think your, your connectivity is having some issues. I'm afraid. Okay. So can okay. you be so kind? Let me reach on it again. Okay, reach on, no problem. That's fine. I'll be here. Hello, Nyan. Hello. Nyan, are you there? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you very well. Okay, so let's continue. Give me one second. So I'm afraid that, okay, so look at this. So here it is, here we are. So let's continue. Can, are you able to read the vocabulary that is on topic number one? Topic number one. So can you see my can you see my screen? Yeah, 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 I can see it. Okay, first before we continue with this part of the exercise, I want to read from you. I want you to read them to make sure if you master the pronunciation of these words. Let me see. And then after that we match with the exercise. Let me see. Okay, Nyan, are you able to see the screen? I'm not listening to you. Are you there? Oh, wait, you, can you hear me? Now I can hear you, yeah. I was, uh, I was saying to you, if you could first please read, all right? I want you to first read, okay? The exercise. So, I mean, to read the, the vocabulary of the exercise number one, and then we proceed completing the exercise number one. So can you read these words for me? And then we continue with the next part. Okay. So the vocabulary. Ankle, ombre, calf, chest, chin, eyebrow, eyelash, eyelid, fingernail, heel, hip, lip, neck, Nostril, arm, scalp, shin, show, stomach. Okay, I let me see again. Up. Let me see. Could you please try one more time? I'm sorry. And start from the word ankle. Let me see just to make sure. I'm sorry about that. To make sure about the pronunciation, Yan. Armbed. Ankle. Armbed. Half. Armpit. Yeah. Remember, uh, let me help you there, Yan. With some pronunciations, that's medic, that's anatomy, human body. Okay, it's ankle, and this one right here, okay, is armpit. It's where you use this the other end. 
all right? When you roll the odorants right next here below your arm, that is the armpit. How do you pronounce this word? Armpit. Okay. Continue, continue now. Yeah, uh, start with the first one. Ankle, let me see. Ankle. All right. So I would say in part, how many? Arm, okay, okay. Arm. Okay, armpit, next one, number three. Cap. Okay, next one. Chest. Chin. Eyebrow, eyelash. Chin, eyebrow, uh, chin. eyebrow, eye, eyelash. All right, what else? Uh, eyelid, uh, fingernail, heel, hip, lip, neck, nostril, palm. Stop. Okay, so this one, neck, nostril, nostril, all right? Nostril, palm, scalp, chin, show, stomach, thigh, throat, thumb, toenail, waist, wrist. Okay, great job. So now let's categorize these parts with the body. Let's see part one, part A, part B, and part C. So then uh, you can also write in and then send me a message on Zalo. That's gonna be in uh, part of the, I mean, on Zoom. Let's see. So now we'll tell you the part one. So part A and what is the, 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 the parts of the body? Okay, look at these three parts and also it's, it's been highlighted by us especially for myself you're going to identify where are these parts and i'm going to choose them let's see the first one angle is part c okay that's that is correct well done next one well, the next one is the armpit. Armpit uh, is the part A. A. Armpit is A. Okay, right. great job. Okay, if I give you the opportunity to test, all right, to write it with test. So do you think you can write information? Let me see. I think so. I'm gonna pass the control to you. Let me see. You got it? No. Can you write it? Why, what? No. Okay, so you finish with the first part, part number eight. So now let's do part number a letter. I mean, you finish with the first part, part eight. Now let's finish with the part B. Let's see how you do it. Okay. Let me see. Can you give me like? Five minutes or ten. Yeah, take your time as long as you do it well. And I'm gonna be checking your work because to me it's very important, you know, since you are in a B1 level or intermediate, you should be the best of the best of a class. All right. Just make sure you are doing well. I'm here. Can I go ahead, Jan? Would you allow me to take some yeah. water? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I know, you know, since I've been teaching so many classes one by one, my throat needs uh, it's going to be dehydrated because too much classes today. And it just so real quick, all right? Okay. Okay. I'm back again. Okay, wait, I'm still doing it. It's, it's still doing it? Try to do it well, all right? Take your time. As long as you can do it well, I have no problem. Just try to make sure to do it well. And uh, something I want to make sure is about the pronunciation. Take your time.
the same year I think you see it. Nyan, what have you been yeah. doing? I finished the part A or the, the number one exercise number one. Right? Okay, it's uh you missing okay, great. So let's see, what do you have for for uh, for part A? Part A is I have on I have chin, eyebrow, eyelash, eyelid, fingernail, armpit, eyelash, right? Um, uh, throat, some breast. Okay. Okay. Great. So let's continue. So I think you did it very well because you really did categorize the next one. Let me see something here. Okay, let's continue. Okay, here it is. Let's go back again one more time. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see you. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Okay, speaking exercise, all right, Nyan? So let's do this speaking exercise. So you're going to choose and describe a part of the body using one or more phrases below, okay? And then you will need to have me as you guess in your class, all right, to tell me which part of you, of you, I mean, which part you are describing, okay? So, you ready to start? Yeah. Okay. So let's see like, like this, all right? Is part of your number one, is part of your Part of your face. Part of your face. It's at the front, back, or end of your... Uh, your... It's at the front uh, and of your... Your... Your eye. Oh, no, no, your face, your eye, yeah, I think so. Okay, okay, it's at the front, back, end of your, who's that? Is at the front yeah. or back or end of your? Front of your and this is the end of your and your arm. Your arm. Hello. Okay. Your arm. Let's say it again one more time. It's at the front, back, or end of your end of your arm. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so you were breaking up a little bit, Nyan. It's at the end of your arm, you say. Next one, it's between your and your. What? No. Let me think again. Let, organize let it, two organize. things. You Wait, will need to. Me, uh, 
organize. Can you give me two minutes? I will organize my idea. And Absolutely. Idea. Organize your idea. No problem. Take the time you need. As long as you do it correctly and well. Okay. Organize your ideas. Let me know once it's ready. Hi, Mr. Alexis, are you still there? Hi. Hello, Yen. Yeah, ready? hello. Ready? Two minutes pass. Yeah. For the activity, yeah. let me see. It's, uh, bet it's, it's between. Part of your face, uh, between your eye and your mouth, is the end of, I don't know, it's the front of the face, yeah. Okay, is the front of your is the is the end of your face, or the uh is the front no, it's of uh, it's uh, it's that it's that front of your face. Okay, it's between uh, your uh, and your. What it, what will it be? Between your eyes and your mouth. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue, all right? Okay. So let's see the ex this exercise, okay? We are going to complete the injuries with the word below and then ask and answer questions. If the answer is yes, ask a follow-up question uh, using the past, uh, ask a follow-up question using the past simple, all right? Look at this. All right, here we go. So, number one. Okay. The number mm -hmm. one is. Okay, a bruised. Shin. Okay, a dislocated. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, did you see what I'm seeing? I think la batia CSIA Agotando. Say Kumadamot where equipped. I don't know, whatever. This is Can you say it again one more time? No, I mean uh 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 dislocated. Oh, you read so, nice. I like the way how you read. You read multiple languages. I love it, Yan. He had superpowers. No, I, mean, I saw I saw your 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 notification. Like the notification. Yeah, the notification yeah, yeah. of my new laptop. All right. <laughs> I bought yeah. it there. I bought it somewhere and I think it's in another how much, language. How much? Uh it's uh -huh. not was that expensive. It was only like four hundred dollars. It was not a 
you know, a big deal. Yeah, it was wow, like, that's like more expensive than me. No, let me, yeah, $400. How, how Wait, much was like, the lot? I mean, it's like 400 no, I'm, I'm 20 I don't know. It's about 27 million BND. So let me calculate it into the dollars. Give me a second. What kind of laptop is yours? Is that an, uh, an i5? Uh, this is the Atlas, the Rock Street Intel laptop, Intel CPU. Okay, uh, it's a laptop or a CPU desktop, regular desktop? Uh, laptop, laptop, gaming laptop. What kind of brand, what kind of, um, let's say, measuring it has in gigahertz processor and all that? Yeah, it's like, um, it's the gaming laptop and it's, oh, it's about, a gaming uh, laptop, all right? It's a gaming laptop. All right, this is uh, an I, it, this is an i7 sixth generation. Okay, wait, well, are this located? Some are this located? This located. Shoulder. A dislocated so, shoulder. All right. A sprain. Uh, sprained lip, no, lip, I think so. Okay, I think sprained. So. I sprained ankle. All okay. right, a broken arm. Arm, uh, lip, lip, uh, lip or finger. A broken leg, arm, leg. leg, or finger, all right? Okay. A black. A black um, eye. Black eye. Black okay. eye. A black eyes, that's right. A cut. Uh, a cut on a lip. A cut lip. Okay. okay. A cut lip. All right. Yeah. A cut lip. All right. Let's continue. Let's continue with this. So we're gonna use this. Uh, I don't. Let me see if I can reproduce the audio. I'm afraid I'm having some issues. But what we can do in case that it doesn't work, let me try. It. Let me give it a try. Oh no. Let me see right here. Can you see the little speaker? Doesn't work. No problem, no problem. What I do is. Look at this. Well, this is what I'm gonna do here. What I do is just to in this particular case, it's just to have you complete the exercise by logic. Obviously, you are not using the audio, but um, with the vocabulary you had on top, which is this one, like arm, eyelid, head, ha hand, leg, neck, you are you may be able to complete the exercise. So I give you, I'm gonna give you three minutes to complete this exercise using your logical reasoning, okay? So you're gonna complete the sentences with one word below and then choose the correct meaning of the idiom, all right? Those are idioms or idioms, words that can become phrases and has another meaning. And I will explain that to you. Let's go ahead.
number one, he was pulling your He is pulling your neck, leg, yeah. hand, head, highly arm. That is a phrase. That is an expression okay. that everybody uses here mm -hmm. everywhere. Are pulling you pulling your head? Mm -mm. Are you pulling my? Which means that you're kidding. Okay. You're kidding. Pulling my arm. My my arm you're pulling my your legs he was pulling your leg which means that mm -hmm. you are angry with you you're joking or you're embarrassed what is that for you you are angry you are joking all right mm -hmm. when somebody tells you in english you are pulling my legs so you are joking Okay, you're kidding. So look at the next one. Did you give him a hand? That means, did you help him? Okay. When someone uh, tells you, I give him or I gave him a hand, you're saying that you are helping somebody else. Let's do number yeah. three. Number three, you twisted my? You twisted my, my, my twisted. What does that mean? Translated, what twisted? Uh, twisted my hair, hair. Look at there, part of the body, okay? You twisted my arm. The arm is the how one. Can, that, how can we twist it? The arm. Yeah, the twist. The arm can be twisted like that. Look at there. Right. So like that, right. and then right. get harm. Yes, by harm. And okay. then you can use a cast after that. So let's see. Okay. Which means that persuade me. You twisted my arm. Uh, it means that you try to persuade that person. Number four, I still, I am mean, sorry, I'll stick my, that's easy. I stick, look at this. I stick my. I stick my head out. Uh, my neck, my neck. my neck out, all right? And that means that you take the risk, all right? If you say, I stuck my neck out, which means you took the risk, all right? He didn't, he didn't bet and? He didn't bet an eyelid. An eyelid, all right? And that means that you're surprised. Finally, number six, you need to keep your. You need to keep your, 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 your hat. You your hat, great job. Your head. Your head, you need to keep your head. Well done. And that, what does it mean? You need to be silent, to work hard, work or to hard. stay calm? Work hard. To stay calm, to, to stay calm, which means that not to lose the, not to lose the patience you have uh, because you are angry, all right? Okay. Just to try to be calm down, okay? For the next class, so what I'm, gonna, what I'm going to ask you to do, I'm gonna give you homework, okay? So can you uh, screenshot this one? Um, can you see this okay. one? This one is gonna be your homework. Okay, looks good, babe. Yeah, you can do it even in a notebook or if you wanna do it this way. 
however you want to do it. You can write it there. Just a screenshot this one and send me tomorrow by our yeah, next yeah. class, all right? Okay. Nyan, uh, thank you very much for being in the class and I hope you have an excellent rest of the day. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, Nyan.
Goodbye.